Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, today's episode, we have $250 up for grabs, compliments of American Express personal checking offer. So in typical fashion, we'll take a look at this offer, terms and conditions, requirements, and eligibility, everything you need to know to make Amex money become your money. So of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, as always, there will be a blog post and a direct offer link for you down below. Not a referral link, simply get you where you need to go the fastest. Uh, this is a nationwide offer, but we're going to spend the majority of the time here in the eligibility section because they are very sneaky with this one and where they place the terms at, but uh, we will break it all down for you now. So let's get started here taking a look at the offer itself. And we're off to a good start because we have an entire, looks like a family unit of happy people having a great time. And who wouldn't because there's money up for grabs. So promo material checks out, but let's figure out what do you actually need to do to be like these people. So requirements are as follows. Open a new checking account. They call their checking rewards checking. I think it's the only option, so uh, not a big deal there. You do need to complete one direct deposit of $500 uh, by uh, December 10th of this year. The bonus will post within 8 to 12 weeks of completion. As it stands at the time of taping, this offer is good through Halloween of this year. So again, just open it by Halloween and then you know you have still to December to, to make your direct deposit. Do that and you're $250 richer. Now, overall, I wouldn't wait right until Halloween to do this one. Now, I have a business, I have two MX business checking accounts. One is a sole prop I did for the promotional offer and one for my real uh, business account. I picked MX because you'd be surprised how hard it is to find accounts that are don't charge a ton of fees uh, for business accounts really don't require a lot of minimum so and it doesn't cost me a churn because generally amex is once per lifetime so when i opened the one for my real business they did require a 4506t in bank statements now 4506t is a form that allows the holder of it after you've filled it out to request tax returns on your behalf directly from the irs so you know you can't fake them or anything Never in my life has a, has a deposit account required a 4506T. That's generally reserved for credit products. And even then, and no one's ever asked for that, it's usually only an American Express thing. I'm not saying that will happen to you. It probably won't happen to you. I'm simply mentioning it because it happened to me. Again, it was technically a different product, the business checking account. But because of that, I throw it out there. I don't to discourage you. I would do this one myself if I could. And we'll talk about why in a second. Uh, but don't. I wouldn't wait to the last minute because of that possibility. So just putting that out there. Now, in addition to this, uh, when we're talking about the business ac accounts, not to confuse the issue, but so you are aware, uh, the business account came out and it, you know, it was, I think, $300. And then eventually they switched it to MR points instead of cash. And then they ratcheted up from like 30K MR to 60K MR points. This checking, this personal checking used to be a targeted offer. It's possible that they do that again with this personal offer, eventually switch it from cash to membership reward points. Some of you would make more money with membership reward points. I have no idea if that's going to happen or not. I'm simply mentioning the history of their promotional offers, but again, we haven't really seen this offer too much. Again, they had a savings offer and this checking offer were targeted, I believe. So, you know, something to consider. But again, I would do this one if I could. So why can't I do this one? Well, when we take a look at eligibility, it will make sense. And this is kind of where I claim they're being a little bit tricky. So eligibility nationwide, you can't have an existing rewards checking account it makes a lot of sense. Now, not even hidden down below in the terms and conditions, but hidden up top, like next to the happy people in very small, thin print. We are currently accepting applications from card members with a U.S. basic consumer card issued by American Express National Bank with three months plus tenure. Current and prior American Express business checking customers are not eligible to apply at this time. Rewards checking is fee-free and there are no closure rules listed. So again, eligibility, pretty simple. Just in my opinion, they really did hide these because I missed it. Actually, I saw comments, I think on the doctor, someone po pointing this out. It's not, at least at the time of tape, they couldn't move it. But at the time of taping, it's not in the bottom terms and conditions. It's actually up at the top of the offer page but on a blue background, but very thin print. It's a bit much even for them, in my opinion. So all that to say is I don't have a personal American Express credit card. I'm not the biggest American Express fan, even though, again, I did just you know choose them for my business account. I do have a business American Express card, the blue business cash card, uh, but no personal card. And again, I do have two uh, business checking accounts, so uh, I can't do this one. If I could do this one, I would do it. I think it's a pretty good, pretty easy offer. 
Again, I prefer cash over membership reward points. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Again, I, I don't know what they mean by basic consumer card. Uh, you know, in my mind, you know, they. I think all the American Express cards are going to count. Uh, but it is important to note if you're new here, uh, American Express is also a payment network. So if you take something like the old Wells Fargo Propel card, right? It was a Wells Fargo card, which means it was issued by Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo was lending you the money when you swiped the card, but it was on the American Express payment network. That would not count. Now, you has to be a credit card issued by American Express, so from the American Express card page, basically, and obviously it would be on the American Express payment network. Uh, so again, if you are newer here, sometimes that is confusing. You have a payment network like Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express, but you want to pay attention to the card issuer, which again should be obvious that it is American Express. It will say American Express on the card somewhere as well as down below where the little payment network logo goes or the Visa MasterCard and American Express logo goes. So just uh, keep that in mind if you are newer to this game. So really, that's the piece you need to know about for eligibility. Uh, so let's keep it moving with the summary slide to bring us home. And here we have it. Again, the target, as we've said, is American Express. You want a rewards checking account. Again, I believe that's the only option to choose. Uh, payout is 250 bucks. This is nationwide. Again, we spent a ton of time on it. Just remember your eligibility criteria. Uh, requirements, direct deposit 500 bucks by December 10th. Uh, there are no fees to this account, and you can shut it down whenever you want. So overall, again, this one is pretty easy, provided you can get in. Uh, again, I would do this if I could, but since we finished early, if you need an American Express card, well, might I bring ProfitableContent.com to your attention? That is the channel's blog where we post not only news stories, we have bank promotions, a lot more, a lot of them are a lot less choosy than this one, I might add. And of course, we have credit card offers, we have a whole American Express section, so you can go over there, pick the little card icon and learn more, see what the offers they have going on. If you're interested, again, it won't help you this moment because of the three uh, month rule that they have in place but uh, these offers come back around all the time so it will help you in the future and you're going to make some money on an intro nice intro offer anyway so there is always that link down below for you and on the channel homepage. In addition to that, if you are interested, where we go in depth on terms and conditions, hunt offers together, find offers, and most importantly, use member referral links in videos and blog posts, well, then you can check out the channel memberships, uh, which is shared between this channel and the main channel. You just have to join on one. You get access to that Discord server with a bunch of fellow bonus hunters. We're about 40 people strong right now. Again, the value add really is getting you know your, your referral links used in videos and blog posts, and you get to make all of that money keep it. It's a lot nicer than the other channel memberships that just promise to reply to your comments. I talk to you no matter what because no, it's not really exactly a line of people who are looking to talk to me. But anyways, guys, if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel because we're posting content just like this every single week on how to make the bank's money become your money. And of course, uh, over on uh, ProfitableContent.com every single day, as we already said, with the latest news stories, bank promotions, and credit card offers. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. Talk to you very soon in the next one.